welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse news update. Quite a few new reveals, new pre-orders to talk about today. If you're a DC Multiverse fan in the grandest of sense, then yeah, I think today might be right up your alley. Although for me, there's a couple where I'm like, oh, we'll talk about that, of course. Not just DC Multiverse, Batman the Animated Series as well, of which I'm particularly stoked on. Now, where can I grab all of these new DC Multiverse figures? Well, these are a part of the Target Summer Geek Out event. They are Target exclusive. There's gold labels. There's exclusive lines like Batman the Animated Series. So if you want any of these, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you, as always, for using my links. Or later on, you'll be able to find these in the store. I know a lot of people say, well, Target's kind of hit and miss for me. If I'm being honest, Target is usually the way to go over other retailers, you know, the one that I'm talking about. Not always, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Although inventory, what it's been lately, eh, I kind of need to catch up a little bit. The, the shelves are looking a little bleak. It's no fun when they only get one case and then months later they get another case. You know, that sort of deal. But like I said, Target exclusive, Pruder links down below. Let's get to chatting about these. First and foremost, we have a Joker and Punchline 2-pack. What's different about this one? Nothing. This is going to be the same exact figures, same exact pack, although it comes with an autograph card by the artist Jorge Jimenez. So if you want an autographed card with your two figures of Joker and Punchline. Yeah, by all means. I've already gone over this figure pack. It's okay. This one is kind of like a, yeah, maybe eventually. I'm not a fan of the Joker. Punchline, one of the newer characters, sure. Although that ball or whatever thing is in her hand, it is doesn't come out. She doesn't have any extra hands to then swap that out for anything Joker comes with a knife, so it's kind of lackluster. Again, I've been over this, it's just not for me. If you like autographed cards and you like the artists, then yeah, by all means, this will probably be the pack for you. But moving on, we're gonna be kinda going old school, like way old school DC Comics in the form of Metallo. Now, for me, can't honestly say this would be the ideal look for Metallo. However, I do like it when they go old school, when they go old school designs, even though it's kind of an old school design mixed with a newer retro design for Metallo, if you know what I'm talking about. So there will be a DC Multiverse Gold Label Metallo. Now, you can clearly see it's got some reuse to it. Of course, this one... It kind of has like, okay, that's cool, but then it's not accurate enough for me. But then in so many ways, even though this is not the ideal look of Metallo for me, I see those problems, I see those differences, but then I go, well, I guess it is what it is. If you like this version of Metallo, or at least a close enough version of Metallo, this might be right up your alley. The original old school look is a lot less, we'll say mechanical, you know, that kind of deal. He kind of looks like he's wearing a, a high rise vest, <laughs> bodysuit with thigh highs. Yeah. Metallo from Superman, the animated series. When Metallo is half flesh, half robot, it's just peeling off of him. That's my ideal look for Metallo. So that would be where I'm more inclined to get a Metallo. This one it, 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 it's there, but not really at the same time. His chest piece doesn't match the newer sort of artwork. Kind of looks like he has a hubcap on his chest, whereas this one has more of the atom symbol, that kind of thing. So it, it's like, yeah, I, I see what you're going for. Is it great? It's, yeah, it's okay, but there's a lot missing to it, unfortunately. Is it old school? Is it interesting? Sure. Glad that they made it. I think that for the few of you out there that would actually want this, you can totally grab it. For me, it's kind of like maybe, just maybe, if I see it, I'm not going to pre-order it. If I see it on shelves, I get a better look in hand. He comes with a piece of kryptonite, which, hey, that's what I expect Metallo to come with. I like when Metallo's chest opens up, he fires the kryptonite, all that. That's a cool looking Metallo. So even though this is a gold label, perhaps they will get to the more robot skin peeling off version eventually. But in the meantime, if you're interested in this Metallo, 
Uh, you can definitely pre-order him now. We have Fire. Half of Fire and Ice, right? How Brazilian they are. Fire. Interesting figure. I'm on the fence like Metallo. Sometimes with McFarlane Toys Photography, you kind of have to go, I'm going to have to wait till that actually is in my hand to see it and get a good idea. Translucent green body. That's what I expect when fire turns her powers on. The face portrait, however, leaves a lot to be desired. It's odd. It's weird. The fire hair, it's, it's kind of like a firestorm thing going up instead of kind of flaming out, like one of those uh, 70s style hair. That's that's what I like for fire. It's interesting, don't get me wrong. It's kind of Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, the animated, especially in the face. But then again, I don't think that when you have a translucent body as they've done, which apparently it looks like the Catwoman body reused because she has the thigh highs. So it's cool in the sense that it looks like she's wearing clothes, don't get me wrong, although, that would be the kind of clothes, the idea that fire is wearing. Also, in so many ways, when fire activates her powers, right, it basically looks like she's naked. Although usually she'll have fire effects in the crotch and the breasts, you know, kind of like a, a bikini kind of thing. I get it's an action figure. It's in the kid's aisle. You, you kind of have to go, OK, well, maybe draw it back a little bit. But at the same time, that's what makes fire kind of interesting. This it just doesn't hit for me on all cylinders. I like the fire as she's represented when, let's say in the 90s, when she's going up against Doomsday. Also, by the way, we need Bloodwind. That would be a great figure. But you get the idea. She looks like she's nearly nude, but she's got that cool hair. Give her some flame effect pieces, of which, yes, she does come with the flame effect pieces. Looks like it's got a little bit of a yellowish wash in there. I'm not a fan of the face. I don't like the way they did it. I would have preferred just clear plastic face to kind of go with the rest of the clear plastic body, maybe colored the eyes yellow and called it a day. Maybe had an extra head portrait. Although, like I said, this is a gold label, so perhaps we will see another version of Fire later down the road. It's kind of there, kind of not. I reserve judgment, final judgment, until I see her in hand. You look at the back of the box and you go, yeah, that's... It's kind of what I want, that that kind of look, right, with the billowy kind of fireish hair. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. I've always say this at the end of the video all the time, but you can comment down below. Now, I'm going to take full credit for this next reveal. Been wanting this, been touting this, been saying, hey, uh, out of all the newish type villains characters in the Batman rogues gallery, Mr. Bloom is finally coming to the DC Multiverse line. I am stoked, although he isn't a two-pack with Jim Gordon's rookie robot. <laughs> hey, I'll takes it however I can get it. The rookie robot looks fantastic. It looks like a giant figure. You notice he's kind of crouched down, She-Hulk style, like in the recent retro Iron Man Marvel Legends wave. So to get him in the box, yeah, they kind of had to fold the legs a little bit. But the real standout, the real highlight for me is Mr. Bloom. They have sculpted out that weird flower that's on his face. How I see Mr. Bloom, it's as a mask. It's got the flower eye kind of thing. It's creepy. It's weird. He's got the long fingers. He's not as thin as I would like him to be. He's very gaunt. He's very almost Jack Skellington, if you think of him in that sense. But he's thin. He's got the black turtleneck. He's got the pants, the long, spindly, creepy pumpkin head fingers, and then he's got that weird mask. So yes, I'm jazzed. And same thing with Rookie. He'll have the swap out robot head, or you can swap it out for the Jim Gordon in the robotic neck. So it's not exactly a swappable head portrait. It's basically like a big chunk of a neck. You see Jim Gordon's head, and it's pretty cool. Now for the Rookie robot, I would have liked to have seen maybe some missiles, something that could not projectile fire out, although that would be Amazing, but something along those lines. In terms of Mr. Bloom, perhaps some extendo arms, something like that. When he gets all weird, creepy, he kind of starts to grow and gets extended. Like Mr. Fantastic, think of that, but in a creepy sense. And yes, he's also missing those fishnet lines all over his arms and hands. How you would exactly do that? 
That would have been nice if McFarlane could have figured that out. It certainly can't be sculpted because of how thin those lines would be. Perhaps something I can do with one of those pen markers later down the road. I miss that it doesn't have it, but at the same time, I can see why they couldn't put it on. Although, you know, they do it with Spider-Man. They, they probably could have figured something out. That would be my two cents. Anyways, overall, I'm stoked on this. Mr. Bloom, rookie, that's a pre-order for me. You got me. It comes with a base, of which I'm pretty sure we have seen that exact one before, give or take. But in either case, yes, thank you for making Mr. Bloom. And like I said, I've been asking for it. I appreciate you making it just for me. <laughs> Of course, everybody at home rolling their eyes. But yes, for me, definitely going to grab this. Let me know what you think. And then to wrap it up, Batman the Animated Series fans, you all know that this is a Target exclusive line. So we're bringing back the Batmobile. The Batmobile looks slick. I don't have this. I just got the Joker mobile. Now I got the Batman mobile, right? <laughs> that looks Awesome. Very happy to have that. Now let's just hope they kind of give us a better looking Batman to fit in there. Although the older DC collectibles, DC Direct, if you have those, this will go in there really nicely. It's a two-seater. This thing is giant. It's a giant Batmobile. I was just at my friend's. I saw his... I, I've seen it before, but never actually gotten to like look at it, kind of mess around with it, that kind of thing. It's enormous. It's a huge Batmobile. So make sure you got space on your shelves. Just FYI, two seater. You can put Batman and Robin in there, just like the cartoon. It lights up. It does all that cool stuff. So I absolutely love this. You got me on two, two definite pre-orders for me today. Batmobile and Mister Bloom. This is this is very cool. Good start to the whole Targets Geek Out Summer Edition Fest Holathon whatever they want to call it. I'm glad they're starting it early. I know Walmart's going to have one as we get closer to Comic-Con. Yes, targets will go for the next couple Fridays. All you fellow West Coasters, we get to wake up bright and early, 6 a.m. to get all these things. Yay. But as always, if you're interested, I'll have all the pre-order links, yada, yada. And you can grab these now. These are available now. Fingers crossed. I say that when you see this video, but it's going up exactly at the time that these are launching on the Target app. So, that really wraps it up. That's my looks. That's my thoughts on some new DC Multiverse, the new Batman the Animated Series reissue of the Batmobile. I should say the reanimated series, Batman Adventures, right? That kind of thing. Which ones are you grabbing? Are you grabbing any? Are you on the fence about a few? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse and Batman the reanimated series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it's pre-order overload. Don't go crazy. Get the ones you want, the ones that you think you'll definitely want. Don't run out of brain cells overthinking this if you want it. Get it if you don't. Just wait. You'll find it in the stores eventually. This stuff really isn't that hard to find as long as you put in a little time and effort. But at the same time, save that time and effort and just pre-order them, and then fingers crossed Target doesn't cancel any pre-orders, right? There's a lot of factors here, but I think you'll be just fine. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.